Good morning guys, I'm very excited as well. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we are going to have a guided tour of London. Uh, when I say guided tour, I'm not the best guide, yeah, I don't know much actually, yeah, so um, I get lost a lot, um, maybe I'll make mistakes, but we're going to use, um, we're going to find out some interesting facts about London, we're going to read an article and then we're going to tour these places. Uh, yeah, Camel, don't trust me, yeah, so never, guys, never hire me as your tour guide in London, yeah, uh, I can take you to the station, I can so show you, but yeah, uh, best to maybe Google it. Uh, but anyway, okay, so uh, hopefully lots of people can join in on this class, we're going to use Google Street View. And have a tour of London. We're going to look at interesting places, and maybe there's some people uh, who have joined the class who've been to London. And tell us about their experiences, good and bad, um, and the places they like to hang out. The places, maybe the uh, the kind of secret places, yeah, the places that the tourists don't go to. So we will see. Kamal, you're welcome to visit my house if you like. Yeah, you're welcome at any time. Pop round for a cuppa. Um, is that, yeah, I've got London, uh, the thing is, you know, I have to, I'm in Germany, so I have to bring London to me, yeah, so this is, this is London, guys, our telephone boxes, you have to do the pose if you go there, and also big, big Ben, well, this tower thing, yeah, so we're going to have a look at these kind of things from the street. Okay, who is there? Wait, wait, I'm going to read the comment boxes first. First week I came to Valencia, I was so excited to watch the old city, I walked for four hours every day for a week to enjoy the old city of Valencia, so I think it'll be more interesting to find out about... Uh, London. That's the thing, and it, it's so that if you get familiar with a place, you start to get used to it, yeah, and it starts to become less interesting. For me, London is very interesting because I'm, I'm not there at the moment, yeah. So when when I'm in the UK, for me, I think ah, oh, London, you know, just London. But um, it is so I think, yeah, people always like to see something else. I think. Uh, so Camo wants to go to London. Uh, Sam, I guess, uh, just open YouTube or Google Images. Yeah, just save the job, save, save, save my job, and you can just go on uh, Google Images. You'll see them. Okay, uh, she is such a beautiful lady. Who are you referring to? I want to see the queen. Oh, she's a babe. Yeah, she's lovely. Yeah, the queen. You know, if she was si 60 years younger, you know. Okay, so, uh, in any case, Sam, are you there? Yes. Perfect. Good to speak with you again. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Cool. Okay, so, uh, yesterday we had a, a brief tour, yeah? I don't know if you were, I can't remember if you were there. Now we're going to look at some facts which I don't actually know, and we're going to find these places, okay? We're going to see, see where they are and stuff. Okay, so welcome, Sam. And we also have Akram. Akram, are you there? Martin, you hear me? I'm good, yeah, I can hear you. Martin. Are you there? Okay, can you good. hear me? I can hear you, Akram. Good to speak with you. Where are you from? Egypt, Martin. Egypt. Perfect. Okay. Good to meet you, uh, Akram. And we have Servet. Are you there, Servet? Uh, I'm here, but uh, hello. Good morning. Good to speak with you again, Servet. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Cool. Okay. And we also have Nukmal. Nukmal, are you there? Maybe it's taking some time to load, guys. Yeah, usually it takes takes a while. Okay. In the meantime, we'll go to so 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 so. Are you there, Martin? Yeah. Hello, Martin. Good to see you again. Good to see you, Nukmal. Good to see you. We have someone called so 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 so. Or so 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 so. I can't work it out. Uh, hi. So so hi, nice so 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 so. so, 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 so. <laughs> nice to speak with you. Can you pronounce your name for us, please? So 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 so. Hello. Okay, we'll come back to you. So so so. Anyone else? We have Abdul. Hi. Oh no! No. Hello. Could you say your name? Yeah. So, how do I say your name? My, my name is Selwa. Oh, is it Selma? Yeah, Selwa. But uh, my English is uh, not uh, good. Don't worry. Don't worry. I prefer your your profile name, to be honest. Yeah. So, 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 so that's a cool name. Yeah. I wish I had a name like this. Okay. So, welcome. Welcome. Okay. So, and where are you from? 
Uh, I'm from Saudi Arabia. Perfect. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And Abdul. Ahlan wa sahlan. Hello everyone. My name is Abdul and I'm from California. Perfect. Okay, this is Abdul. Um, there is, yeah, there is an echo actually, Sam. I've just noticed. Echo! It's gone. Okay, so it's quite fine for now. Actually, it's still there. Okay, okay, guys, what I'll do is through the session, I may mute you. Don't be offended. Don't want to kill me. Um, it's, just that it, it's just that there is sometimes an echo, yeah? So I'll mute people at random um, just to see where it's coming from. Okay, I'll just try some people first of all. Hello? Is there an echo? Okay. I think it was uh, Salwa or Salma. I can't, can't work out the name, but Salwa, I think so. Okay, guys, a tour of London. Yeah. Yay. Okay, Nukma was in my tour yesterday. Abdul was there yesterday. Um, so, we'll just introduce Raphael before we get started. Raphael. Okay, we'll wait for it to load. Uh, wait for it to load. Okay, so there are some interesting facts, which, um, to be honest, I don't know. Yeah, so I haven't seen these before, but I thought we would rely on someone else's opinion, who's probably researched it more than I have, rather than my opinion on things. Yeah. So uh, yesterday I was telling you, for example, about the difference between Westminster, City of London, stuff like this. It will be these kind of facts, yeah, and, and things to do there. But we'll follow an article, yeah, because it's easier than. Um, me trying to recall things I've heard and stuff like that. Okay, so uh, could you, in fact, I think this is the right link. I hope this is the right link. Uh, yeah, this is the right one. Okay, so uh, let's talk about this. So first of all, is there any places you'd like to go to before we read the article? Or have you got any facts that you know about London that you've heard that you want to talk about Yeah, before we make a start? So. Uh, Let's go from right to left, I think. So, please, can I call you so, 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 so? I really like that, yeah? So, I really <laughs> okay, so, uh, come on. Um, have you guys heard any facts about London or any particular places of interest about London that maybe is unusual, yeah? So, not, not so normal. London oh. is the oldest city in the world. It's not, is it? Is it? <laughs> we just say so I don't think so. I think maybe in some I don't know about that one. Yeah, I don't think it's the oldest city. Yeah, I think maybe Rome or somewhere is old, a lot older. I'm not sure, or somewhere in China maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, but okay, so uh, Raphael, do you know anything about London? Any unusual things? Um, I've been in London for about five times, and the most you uh, you need you for. Uh, unusual thing I I I've seen there was um, um, perhaps 15 years ago when I was and it it was the fashion of the people with cracks that um, punkies there are a lot of punkies with uh, with yellows with yellows hair and with pinks in her hair it was amazing mm, yummy <laughs> and I. <laughs> I went to Fred. I went to Fred because there are a lot of Ray people. London is a Ray. I think it was in the Soho, could be. I, I don't know. In yeah, an area so very cool. rare. And I was a Fred when I was there. Yeah, the thing is, there are a lot of, should we say, colorful areas, like, for example, Soho and stuff. And you see lots of different types of people. You see emos, you see goths, you see punks, you see chavs, you yeah. see. All of these kind of kind of different people in particular areas like like Soho. Okay, you mentioned Soho. Let's go to Soho. Um, okay, so I'll share my screen. And uh, does anyone know about Soho? I hear about it, but when, I don't know what it is. Okay, so it's a part I just of hear it now. Yep. You can see. Okay, so where should we go? Uh, whereabouts? Uh, where particularly in Soho were you? If you look at this map, tell us where you went. I'll show you some pictures first of all, I think. That would be a good way to start. So, Soho, can you tell us about Soho, Raphael? Uh, I, I don't remember very well, but <laughs> there are a lot of people. It's a neighborhood very funny. 
with a lot of discos, pubs, and little restaurants, and many, many bars I've, 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 I can remember. And lots of bars, lots of restaurants, lots of, yeah, it's kind of like a, a cool part, unusual part, yeah? So um, lots of, should we say, diverse people, yeah? So people uh, of different, well, of course, nationalities are everywhere in London, but also there's, uh, there's lots of, like, okay, lesbian people, gay people, there's uh, lots of different types of people from different types of background and stuff. Um, it's very, should we say, colourful area. Yeah, so it's uh, there's lots of bars, lots of restaurants, uh, I think theatres and things like that. And the main street, I think, is Carnaby Street or something like that, yeah? Mm -hmm. Did you go to Carnaby Street? Carnaby, yeah. I think Carnaby Street. Let's go there. Um, Carnaby Street. Carnaby Street, it was a famous street when the, um, the Beatles um, take a photo for her album, I think. Yeah, this is um, yeah for what's the album? Yeah, so is is this the one with of course like Abbey Road? Yeah, is it Abbey this Road. One? That's Abbey Road, I think. Um, mm. But uh, to be honest, I've never been to Abbey Road. Yeah, it's the one place that the tourists tourists go to. I think we're here. Yeah, so Carnaby Street around this area, if I remember correctly. Uh, but we'll just walk there. Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah. Okay, I think this is Soho, but it looks boring to be Soho. Yeah, so around this kind of area, I think, right, Raphael? Yeah. Okay, so this is Soho, lots of uh, bars, lots of shops, lots of this kind of thing on Carnaby Street. It's a, it's a quite cool cool area. Um, it looks too, this part looks too boring. There's not so much going on. Maybe there needs to be a market. Um, so we'll find the uh, another part. But this is like a very shoppy area, very bar area, and that, that kind of thing. Okay, so that's, that's Soho, yeah? Soho is the, the colourful part of of London, should we say. Um, where else have people heard about? I Sorry. heard, I heard Oxford books, books from Oxford. It mentioned, in a, like in a paragraph, it mentioned Baker Street, but I don't know. I heard Baker just this name. Yes. Okay. Does everyone know about Baker Street? No. Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, you know Sherlock Holmes? Sherlock Holmes's house is on Baker Street. So uh, I can't remember the address. It's 221B Baker Street. Let's search for this then. Okay. So why is it is popular? Uh, why is Baker Street popular? Do you know Sherlock Holmes? Have you heard of this character? Yeah, yes. uh, a, a detective. Yeah. Yes. So this is where uh, supposedly he lived. Yeah. And now it's a museum. Of course, it's a story. Yeah. But this is basically uh, part part of the story. But Sherlock Holmes. Okay. We'll go to Sherlock Holmes's place. Um. Did you go to Baker Street, Raphael? Um, I think I went there, but I can't remember right now. But sure. Oh, sure. Yeah. Where are we? I think it's... Yes, okay, here we go. The Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes Museum. That's supposedly where he lived. Um, and that's... Um, well, of course, it's a character, yeah? But that's supposedly where he lived. Now it's a museum. You can go inside it. So this is Baker Street. Um, mm -hmm. Apart from that, it's quite quite a normal street, I'd say. Yeah? There's nothing particularly interesting. Mm -hmm. Anything else on Baker Street? Yeah, so it's just a, a normal, average, central London street. Uh, but where Sherlock Holmes is. So lots of tourists come here. Okay, before we read um, the text, any more places that you know of? Oxford City. Oxford City or Oxford Street? Where the University mm. of Oxford is, yeah? Oxford University or do you mean Oxford Street? No, come on. Oxford University. Okay, that's not in London, that's just outside in a city called Oxford. Uh, but it's not too far from London, yeah. But uh, that's not not in London. But if you want to know, we'll take you there. Okay. So, but in fact, we'll do we we'll do other cities in another class, yeah. So we'll look at Oxford, we'll look at Cambridge, we'll look at uh, Bath and things like that in another session. Now we'll just focus on. All on right. London, okay. Okay. So, anyone uh, got any others? I I can't remember um, another inter interesting place that is called Portobello Market. It was an amazing place to find uh, all kinds of stuff, uh, second-hand stuff, Portobello Market. So there's some Portobello Road as well, Portobello Market. Okay, this is, yeah, 
this is like there are lots of big big markets in in London, yeah, as, as in major cities. And how did you notice they behaved? Yeah. So what about the market traders? Yeah. So what kind of things? Is it the same as in your your country, Raphael? Yeah, in my country there is a place um, of second hand and uh, things that every people have used before you. And it's called the Rastro. In Madrid, it's called the Rastro. Rastro. And it's very amazing because there are a lot of people, also a lot of bars, and many people go there on Sundays. It's, it's every Sunday, the market, and you can find at all kind of stools, uh, recycled uh, mm, clothes, uh, hats, uh, furniture, machine, device, uh, all kind of stuff, motorcycles, also stolen things. <laughs> yeah, okay, things like stolen bikes. That happens at a market um, called Blackbush. It's not in London, it's, it's in well, Blackbush. Blackbush market is very, very, I think it's one of the biggest markets in the UK um, and that people go there who stole on bikes and things like that, yeah, because it's so, so big. So that happens. Uh, but when, in terms of the sales strategy, yeah, so uh, a lot of uh, London markets, they're like, five bananas, get your five bananas for a quid. They talk like that, yeah? So is it the same in Spain, Raphael? Yeah, it could be, because there are um, many tenders are gypsy, ten, gypsy people that talking uh, rare, very rare accent, and there are people from the countryside and talk, um, talk very similar. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so, so, by the way, it doesn't look like it's market day. These are the, what we call the pitches. Yeah, these are where the, they they make their stools. They they put their stools, but it doesn't look like it's market day on this this day. So you can't really see it. But usually on this street, uh, there's a there's a big market. But there are a couple of stools, maybe fruit and vegetables. Look at this van. Yeah. So what says quality <laughs> fruit and vegetables? Yeah. So you see things like this sometimes. <laughs> Okay, and there's like lots of random shops selling stuff. Yeah, so that's that's quite a cool, cool part. Um, okay, but it's not market day today. It looks like there's a couple of stores, but not not much. Okay, so that's Portobello Road, Portobello Road Market. Does uh, yep. Uh, what about uh, the person who sings one pound fish? Does yeah, yeah, one pound of fish, one pound of fish. Get your fish. Yeah, they they always talk like this. Um, this for for me, I don't know what it's like in your country. So how would they, say, Rafael? Can you say it in Spanish? Mm, I don't know. Perhaps it, in Spanish uh, people said, eh, quiero venderte, venta, venta al público, barato, barato. <laughs> yeah, barato, barato. Okay, that's cool. Um, how is it in America, Abdul? Yeah, so I guess it's probably similar with the markets and also with the calls. Yeah, so how people shout. Okay, so on the, when you go to a market in, in California, in America, um, yeah, yeah. How how is it the same? Yeah, to the shelter go a kilo of bananas or whatever. Like, yeah. like going into the flea market. <coughs> oh, the street market. In fact, do you have street markets? Maybe not. No, not the street flea market. Flea F L E. Okay, yeah, yeah. So this is um something else. I'll sh show you the flea market. By the way, here's some more photos of of Baker Street. Yeah, if you if you if you want to see these. Uh, but yeah, that's show Combs one second. So a flea market is just something a bit different. Yeah, so. It's usually like a car boot sale and that kind of thing. But would you go somewhere like this to buy fruit and vegetables, to buy um, food? I always go there. And what's it like? Yeah. So do they shout? Do they shout exactly. out? Same, yeah. Can you do it? <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. I want to know. You know, in America, like uh, most of uh, the shopkeepers in the market are from Mexico, you know, and they speak Spanish. So, I mean, in Spanish, you know, I remember only word, one word, you know, they repeat, repeat, repeat again, you know, so... I, I, like what Rafael said, yeah? So, yeah, like, so I will, I will, you know, say that word if, if Rafael can, you know, tell us what does it mean in English, because I don't know. So, this, this, this for you know, the shopkeepers, you know, like shout, you know, pasale, 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 pasale. <laughs> Okay, so it's like like this, yeah. So it's very, very, very similar. Uh, guys, we uh, where it says, "Hi, I'm American. Already speak English. I'm on here learning Spanish, but I thought it might be cool to see the process from the other side. Would it be okay if you sat in the class?" That's okay, Levy. You can learn some English as well. That's not a problem. So, <laughs> uh, uh, Levy, uh, where, what's that supposed to mean? No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Levy, where are you? Um, I'm from the U.S. Good to speak with you. Good to speak with you. Okay, so we're You're talking about London. Oh, okay, I actually was at uni there the last year. Cool. And tell us about London. What was it like for you? 
London, um, the transportation was a nightmare. Maybe it was because I was there. Um, they were performing the the engineering works on the tube. Yeah. Um, for the Olympics. Yeah. Um, so, um, it was it was nice in the spring and in the summer though. Um, cold in the winter. Um, rainy in the winter. Okay. Any particular places that you liked? Um. Or that were odd for you, unusual for you. Odd. Well, I know everybody. I'm um, at my uni. They all went to um. <coughs> what's it called? I. Oh, um, Ministry of Sound. Yeah, this is a club. Yeah, so a massive yeah. club. Mm -hmm. London's a Ministry of Sound. It's actually a really popular brand as well in the UK. Yeah, so you can get um. It's like a they produce CDs and things like that. Yes, yeah? so it's like a very popular club. So let's go to Ministry of Sound. Okay, one second. Uh, this is uh, probably one of the major major clubs in London. Okay, so I don't know if they have branches in your countries. Yeah, have you seen this in America? You seen say? what there? Uh, Ministry of Sound. Yeah, it's the, a big chain. I don't know if they have um, shops. Yeah, so I haven't yeah. seen it here and there. No, this is sorry. This is the record agency. I think this is not the club. This is not the club, right? Mm, yeah, it, it was. It looked kind of shady from the outside. Yeah, that that's it. Um, I got there and I, my friends were like, "You have to come. You have to come." I showed up and it seemed kind of shady, but it's massive inside. Inside, is that it, yeah. Actually, they, it's also a record label and, and that kind of thing. Yeah, so they they make CDs and stuff like that. Yes, yeah? so that's that's cool. Okay, so anyone else who's just joined us in the in the meantime? So, Salma, was it Salma? Yeah. Okay, so good to speak yeah, with you. Salma. Have you ever been to London? What? Have you ever visited London? Oh, uh, no. Okay, so. But in, you... But maybe uh, later. Later, yeah, so maybe in the future. Uh, but do you know of any places in London? Any famous places? Mm. London Park? London Park? Do, maybe, do you mean Hyde Park? Hyde Park. Have you heard of Hyde, Hyde Park? Park? Or there's London Zoo and things like this. Okay, has anyone been to Hyde Park? Yes, yeah, so Raphael, did you go to Hyde Park? Yes, I went there. Mm, mm, for several times, and the most amazing thing is that the large of the park is very large and very nice. But it, it, there is a, an interesting place that is the corner. I think uh, we was talking in your class mm, the last day. I think when the people uh, in this place in the corner the, of Hyde Park, there are a lot of people speaking. In 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 a stairs or or in a step, um, t talking about religion, about uh, politics, about freedom, about drugs, about um, all kind of people, also crazy people in that in that speaker corner, yeah. Speaker's and corner, is, yeah. Which uh, which Peter educated me about the other day. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Spe speaker's corner. Um, d I've never seen this. Yeah, I've I know of it. I've I know of it. I've heard of it, but I've never seen that. I've, ne I've never been there. But it is a corner in Hyde Park, as far as I'm aware, where basically people of different religions and Muslims um, have uh, go up and speak about Islam, and then Christians speak about something. And it's a it's a big debate kind of thing. Yeah. So uh, I'll show you. But again, I've I've never been there. I don't know if Levi went there. I haven't. No. You haven't been. There. Okay. So it's a bit like this. Yeah, basically, uh, from what I'm aware, they just uh, kind of just debate, speak, sell their beliefs and, and things like that. Yeah, So it's, it can be, uh, from what I understand, quite, quite interesting. Uh, don't believe, yeah, someone's there with a sign saying, don't believe anyone including me. Yeah, <laughs> uh, And they, they just basically express themselves. It's a way of maybe, um, yeah, someone here giving free hugs. And it's actually quite, quite a nice idea, I think. Yeah, But I don't know, is it similar to something in your countries, guys, something that you have? We have Jane Han. Can you hear us? Jane, can you hear us? Okay, maybe it's your microphone settings. Yeah, so if you look at my screen, if you look at my screen, sorry, I've, I turned it off. 
If you look at the top right hand corner, there's a microphone icon, okay? So just make sure it's not muted. Okay, if it's red, it means it's muted. If it's gray, we should be able to hear you, and there's another problem. Okay, so Jane, just check this out, and we'll come back to you. But Nukmal, how is it there? Do you have something like this in Malaysia? Sorry, I can you I didn't get into this discussion. Can you repeat what are you talking just now? Okay, so as in a speaker's corner, a part of maybe the city where people come and express their opinions. It can be controversial, it can be about anything, but it's it's to cause debate and to make people think about something else. Yeah, so um, I don't know, a Christian would come up and say, Jesus is alive, and then a Muslim would come up and talk about Allah, talk about uh, their religion, things like that, yeah? So they basically can, it doesn't always have to be about religion. It can be just something that you're thinking of, that you want to express, and you can publicly state your opinion, yeah? Oh, I, I don't think uh, here we got something like that. How would people react to this? So if this happened, would it be controversial? Because it can be controversial in London. Sometimes some of the things people say, from what I've heard, can be very, very controversial. Yeah, so how would people react to this? Yeah, people will find it strange, I think. It's because it's not common here. Not so, not so usual, so people wouldn't uh, respond to it. So Raphael, how, what was the most controversial thing you heard? In that corner, or, or yeah, uh, in that corner. Yeah, uh, when I was there, I saw a lot of crazy people. I think because the, the, all the hospital were closed and the people was crying there. But, um, what? <laughs> oh. but <laughs> no, it's a joke. I'm kidding. But um, it looks like. Uh, many crazy people but I, th I think in my opinion it's an important place because you can express yourself in uh, in the way that you want without criticizing and um, it's a kind of freedom to of a speech and it was amazing that <laughs> in, in in every place we can talk about about anything about everything without problem and I think it's a good um, habit to have this corner to to permit the people to spread themselves. To get it off their chest, we say, yeah, to get something off your chest. Yeah. Uh, to get it off your chest. That means basically you are um, you have some problem. You're you're thinking about something, and you want to just tell someone to stop worrying about it. Yeah, to get rid of a burden, to get it off your chest. Yeah, so uh, people often go there if they've got an opinion about something. They want to get it off their chest. They want to release, release this, and just afterwards breathe. Go, Whew. yeah, that, that kind of thing. If you've got something you really, really want to say. Okay, so uh, Sam, what is? It? And by the way, Rafael, do you have something similar to this in Spain, in Madrid? No, no, we haven't. We haven't. The people is very quiet here. Okay. Would, it help? would it make a difference if you had this? Would people use it or would people think actually we don't need to do this? Yeah, just because you, you have it doesn't mean, it, uh, just because you, you would have it doesn't mean that people would need to use it. Yeah, do you think people would use it? In my opinion, I think it's a, a, a good habit. Um, there are some research that if uh, people who talk with people, for example, the difference between Asian, Asian uh, Arabic countries, uh, also Mediterranean countries, and in the, um, countries from the north of Europe, uh, in some research there are a very big, very big difference. There is in the south of Europe, people talk with people in her neighborhood. <clears throat> I can talk. Uh, I can talk with my neighbor um, several times in the day, and this is good for you mental health and in the north of the Europe people don't talk with anybody uh, people be more quiet than in the south more reserved and, more reserved yeah, in the south and it it it's worse it uh, is a bad habit don't talk with anyone and in the same line I think if you can express yourself in every in, in any in some point of your area freedom of speech 
talking about religion, items, talking about taboos or um, items like that. It's healthy, yeah. It's, it's healthy. healthy. It's better than keeping it to yourself because as soon as you keep something to yourself for a long time that you really feel strongly about, it can be bad, yeah. You you need to release that to to someone. Um, so I guess yeah, maybe it's also to do with culture. Yeah, so in the south south of Europe, maybe they're more sociable, maybe they're more friendly with each other, less reserved, more open. So maybe you don't need these kind of platforms. Yeah, in in your countries. Yeah. So would you say yeah, it wouldn't make a difference if you had this in Spain? <clears throat> uh, I think um, Berlin is our place where where, where you yes, can this express. Is our <laughs> this is our place. Like, <laughs> yeah. Get off your chest, Raphael. Go for it. <laughs> we can say everything you think. <laughs> also, and hopefully not of get course, with you, yes. Martin, you are a very freedom speaker. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully I don't get arrested one day. We'll see. Okay, so Sam, what do you think? I think um, such place is a very good place, very cool. I think it's good to express yourself. Um, well, keeping ideas <laughs> in your in your mind might someday get you crazy if you if you don't. Just say it out loud. Okay, yeah, so you think it's healthy to, to do this? Yes, of course. Would it, do you have something like this in Syria? Or no. e even in Spain, if you would agree with Raphael? And do you think it would help or do you not really need it? Like, for example, Raphael said maybe they don't really need it because they're more open. Um, yes, you might not need it if you... If, if you are living in a society that is very open and it's, it's normal to open such talk, um, but sometimes you might live in a society that you can't just find anyone to discuss it with. You know, people. So you know, you you maybe find some people are not, uh, um, they are not interested or they don't don't show you any attention. So, yes, you need you might need it in some societies. Especially in the societies that have very that, that are very busy, like for example in Germany or or, or London, you, you you can't you can't find people unless they are going to their to their jobs or, or or busy with their families. But it's hard to find someone in the street and talk to them. So yes, you might need such a spot. So the pace of where the pace, somewhere where the pace of life maybe is a lot quicker, uh, you need this kind of. Um, you, you, people don't have time maybe to stop in the street and say, oh yeah, did you hear about that? They need somewhere to basically have 10 minutes, 5 minutes of fame, go and afterwards just go, yeah, okay, let's go to the pub, yeah? So um, it's quite a good, It's you're saying it's quite efficient actually, yeah? So in the bigger cities, in the busier cities, but in, in quieter places where the pace of life is a bit slower, maybe it's not so necessary, yeah? Yeah, um, and, and I think also that the internet is, is a place where, where it can... Um, somehow make it over instead of this place. So with the internet, maybe you don't need this place anymore. So verbling is going to take over speakers' corner. Yeah. As the, so the internet could actually replace these things in the future, maybe because maybe people feel they have more opportunities now to express themselves. They don't need to stand in the rain, in the cold, somewhere in London to express themselves now. Maybe whereas before yeah. in history you did. What do you say, Nukmal? Yeah, I think because, I mean, everyone can get access to internet. I mean, it is much sim simpler way to express our opinion. Uh, so we don't have to, I mean, like to stand at this speaker's corner to to shout our right. And yeah, so internet going to be our next, uh, how to say? Plan of attack. Medium, your plex, your platform, yeah, like that. Platform, yeah, to, to do this. Um, Servo, do you have anything to add? How is it in Turkey? In Turkey, probably you will never see individual persons that speaks to public. But if if a group wants to talk about an idea or they protest something, they gather and they can walk in streets and stop by somewhere and they may speak. Maybe they may like call up uh, newspapers like uh, con reporters or something. Yeah. Uh, individually, if you stand up like this, probably people may think like you are crazy or something, but it isn't matter talking about. Uh, yeah, there's it's, power in the people, yeah? So if there's a group protesting about something, yes. then you're saying that would be, yeah, that would be more recognized, I guess, yeah? And I think also 
if you're individual, it's more likely to be uh, to be taken to like police office mm -hmm. by police. But if you are like a group, usually a police car will accommodate you. But because they are, you are maybe uh, your number is higher than the police. They won't say they won't do anything as long as. Uh, uh, unless you do, you cause any harm to any place or any okay, people. So, so as long as you're, you're minding your own business, I'll write this down. So as long as you're mind your own, minding your own business, then it's okay, yeah? But as soon as you start impacting on the lives of other people, in the next day, then this will cause problems, okay? So mind your own business. People often say this as well as a, um, as a statement, oh, mind your own business, as in, just leave me alone, don't worry about my problems, mind your own business, yeah? But as long as you mind your own business, you get on with yeah. your own task, you don't impact on the lives of others, then it's okay, yeah? yeah not just for like uh, thought, like in terms of thought, uh, maybe some like fight or this type of things, or if you do this type of like things, yeah. then police will step in or... Step in, yeah, we'll step in, yeah. we'll, in we'll intervene. Um, Alice says, I was in the, the Hyde Park and I saw the speaker's corner. It's not, not so interesting. It's not crowded either. And they're just people who talk about what they want and talk, even if nobody is listening to them. Yeah, so this is part, you can't control the crowds, I guess. You can't control who, who stops. I'm sure if there's something very controversial, very interesting, uh, depending on the speaker, people would, people would stop. It would draw attention. But it's, yeah, it's just like street entertainers and stuff like that, you know. Uh, but Abdul, how was it in California? I guess in America it's very, very similar. In fact, it could be even more so. No, I mean, we don't have any specific corner or street or any place for, you know, to express your views and you know, to, I mean, speak freely. But, uh, like, you know, I think, like, being a strong believer, you know, I really believe in freedom of expression and, you know, in freedom of speech. But the thing is, like, uh, the people, you know, who can freely express their views and, you know, they should also realize about some responsibilities too. Because I think, you know, that uh, freedom of speech and freedom of expression is exactly the same thing like a stick, you know, like when you start moving that stick in the air, so you have to make sure that, that this stick should not hit anybody nose, you know. So, I mean, you should realize your responsibilities too. I mean, why? You are enjoying the freedom of speech and freedom yeah. of expression, you know. You know, you don't. You, yeah, it gets to a certain point. You know, express your views in a diplomatic way, where you're not basically saying kill everyone, left, right, right, and centre. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's the thing. And where, uh, how do we limit freedom of speech? That's another question. How, where, how far can it get before, you know, because there's examples in history. For example, uh, if Hitler says, "Oh, I hate the Jews," that's on the one hand, freedom of speech, but you know it's not something that's acceptable. Yeah, in, in to the extent he took it. So um, that's another big, big question. But we won't go there now. Uh, Jane, can you hear? Uh, sorry, I'm new here, so I I, I can't. Uh, I'm not used to it. Uh, can, can you repeat what what are you discussing now? No problem, Jane. Okay, so we're talking about okay, sorry. Um, speakers' corner in London which is a place where people express their opinion. They basically yeah. hold a kind of presentation where they express yes. their own opinion and they try to attract an audience. Yeah, They, they just say, I believe yeah. in Jesus. Jesus is... You should follow Jesus. Too. Or Allah is the saviour. So whatever, whatever their views are, they would express them here. Yeah. And yeah. That's, that's how they uh, yeah, communicate things. Jane, do you have something like this in your country? So a place where people express their opinion? Uh, uh, no, uh, I'm from China. Uh, you know, uh, I, I don't think there's a place for people to really express their opinions. Uh, maybe uh, there are so many controls in China, so, so many rules, uh, and we, uh, we, we can't do that. Would people want to do it? Is it a case of people can't do it or people just wouldn't do it? Because they just don't feel the need. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, first of all, I think uh, 
uh, to the mo uh, to a large extent that uh, we can't do, and uh, because uh, it it has lasted for so many years, so uh, people people maybe uh, maybe they used to it. So uh, nowadays, I think uh, people maybe they a lot of the a lot of people, uh, especially uh, when especially they're old. Uh, they just uh, don't want to e express their feelings and their opinions. Okay, so there's no real, real need for it as such, yeah, because um, they just don't, don't want to do things. Okay, that's interesting. Levy, would you agree with what Abdul said in America? Um, I, I'm sure in New York, I, I was in New York, and there was something similar, but maybe not an official place, yeah? People like to state their opinion. Yeah, I think in America there's... Um... There's not really a specific place for it. One, um, one of the big things I noticed between um, Americans and British people, one of the key differences is um, British people, I, they, um, they're a little bit more poised about how they, how they uh, present their opinion. There's a little bit more polite, and Americans, um, they kind of project it a little bit more. Yeah, you, you, whereas yeah. maybe Americans, it's more free. You, if you have an opinion, you can say it more, mm, maybe. Yes. Yeah, exactly. exactly. It's interesting, yeah, but uh, the thing is, we want to do this, yeah, right? We want to do the, the American way. Maybe it's just something maybe shy or something like that, yeah? So I, I don't know, it's quite interesting. But um, if you had an opinion about something, in America, do you, you have, okay, for, America's on the one hand the ultimate place for freedom, I'd say, yeah? So that's probably where lots of countries look to because it is freedom, yeah, but um, it's, it's in your constitution and stuff, but would you say, if you had a strong opinion about something, how freely can you express this? Um, I think that you, here you can pretty much get away with saying anything until, like, one um, expression that, that I've heard is, um, my, uh, are my rights and where your nose begins, so as long as you're not um, harming anybody else, um, then you're pretty much free to say whatever you want. Okay, yeah, so you can say things like, oh, I don't think that is right, but you mm. can't say, I think I should kill these people, yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that probably is not a very good idea. Not that. a good idea, yeah, you can, <laughs> we could do anything, but you know, maybe you won't be popular. Okay, anyway, let's go back to the Point, but, but, was, like, okay. but, yep, but what he said, you know, this is very important, and I mean, this is the limit, you know, like, as long as you are not uh, undermining my basic rights, so you are free to say anything, whatever you want, and the basic rights uh, of a citizen is very clear in our constitution, so as long as you are not undermining my basic rights, so whatever you want to say, you can express yourself. Yeah, okay, so that, that's the thing, it's about, about courtesy about other people and stuff, yeah, so interesting. Uh, okay, so uh, any other parts of London that you've heard of, some maybe unique parts that you, you haven't got in your countries or somewhere that you've heard about that you'd want um, to be seen, you'd want to be shown, sorry. Uh, in our country, Slovakian people meet in the pub and yell at each other. I like this, yeah, so I like this whole, whole thing. In fact, <laughs> I've heard about this somewhere else, yeah, basically there's a, some organization which um, draws people into some community place and they just shout at each other, yeah? Shout, 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 shout. <laughs> I don't know which country it is, but I think that's quite nice, yeah? Because, yeah, pe I think everyone likes to shout every now and then. I'm not sure, yes? Everyone it's likes therapeutic. To... Yeah, it's therapeutic. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, it's fun. Cleric likes this. Maybe we should go to the back here. Okay, I'll just check the chat box to see if anyone has made a comment that I ignored. Uh, because we're talking. I, I meant I meant a company, not accommodate. Okay, you've corrected yourself. That's okay. In my country, the people make a demonstration to express their opinion. So like a protest or a demonstration. Usually like uh, save save the animals. In New York, I saw um, it was something like um, uh, f they're fighting about layoffs and things like that. Yeah, so uh, there was a company that was um, maybe reducing the amount of employees. They, were, they were got together. There was a big protest about... Uh, about layoffs or something, yeah. So that was that was quite interesting. I was in the middle of that. That was that was quite good to see. But um, as in the way they did it. But Abdul, have you seen a protest recently in your city? Uh, not uh, specifically in my city, but I think the, uh, the protest you are mentioning about, you know, it's I think the name of that protest is Wall Street Occupiers. 
Uh, it could have been. Yeah, 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 yeah. Occupy Wall Street, yeah. Occupy Wall Street, okay. Something yeah. like this. It was about layoffs, yeah? That's, that's all I remember. And there's so many, yeah? So there was, it, was, it was full of people. Really crowded. I've never seen. And it's also by, um, I think, maybe Fox News or something like this, or some news agency. There was another thing. And when I thought, wow, you know, these Americans know what to do, yeah? So if they're not happy, they know what to do. I thought this was quite good. Uh, but yeah, so Abdul, do you see this a lot or is this maybe just my, my trip? It was five days in New York and I saw like maybe th three big protests. One maybe about animal rights, one about these layoffs and the other one about this kind of Fox News or, or some news agency. Uh, I can't remember what, what's there. But um, yeah, do you see them quite often, Abdul? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, you know, it happens often. That's right, you know, like... Uh, the thing is, like, if you are not feel comfortable with someone, and you know, like, uh, so uh, if if you are not, I mean, uh, I mean, comfortable with anything, so you can go out and protest, you know, and express your views. Okay. Yes, it's, it's okay. Uh, but, not, uh, but you should not, I mean, uh, damage any public property, or you should not harm anyone. So, I mean, that was the problem with. In, uh, the Wall Street occupiers, you know, like uh, they were, you know, uh, damaging public properties and, you know, like uh, blocking streets, you know, I mean, creating problems for businesses. So that was the main problem about that protest. Okay, yeah, so it's a bit different. I'm not going to ask everyone this question because we're running out of time, but does anyone have uh, listened to this and think actually it's completely different in their countries? Yeah, Do, um, or, or thinks, okay, this is the same. Um, Someone from a completely opposite country, yeah? Does anyone have an opinion to say about this, what, what they think, before we go on? Okay, I heard that London Airport is so crowded. Uh, there's, there's about three, three airports in London, I think, three or four or so. Um, I think you're talking about Heathrow Airport. And mm. it's, pro it's probably like JFK, yeah? I don't know. Levy, what part of uh, America are you from? Um, originally, I'm from upstate New York. Now I live in Mississippi, which is in the south. Cool. Okay, so would you say like something like JFK is also like this? Yeah, every forty-five seconds or so, a plane a plane lands. Yeah, it's quite busy. Yeah, it's it's um really busy. I found um I absolutely hated Gatwick. I I, I like uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not Gatwick. Gatwick. Not Gatwick. Gatwick is the one that I liked. Heathrow is the one that I hated. It was I don't know. It was um. Yeah, he throws too too busy. But Gatwick, I don't. To be honest, I like I like my Stansted. Yeah. So uh, usually, if I uh, fly, I go within Europe, and it's, it's it's quite convenient. But it's very far away from London. Oh yeah, lots That's of trains. Cool. But it's cheap, so it's very good. Mm. Okay, so um, too much cameras, too many cameras, you should say. Um, Sam, too many cameras. Heavy traffic, automatically organised by huge understreet sensory network. Do you mean uh the the airport, Sam? No, the, the streets, the, the traffic, the cars. In, uh, in Syria? In London. In London, yeah, okay. The traffic is heavy. They mm -hmm. tried to reduce this uh, well, several years ago now with a, a congestion charge. Does everyone know what um, congestion means and also, therefore, what a congestion charge is? A congestion is like too much, like a traffic jam. So congestion, yes, yeah, is like, it's like traffic. And a congestion charge, therefore, is to get to reduce the traffic. So to go into to London, you have to, to drive in London, central London. You have to pay a fee. I can't remember what it is, but maybe it's something like twelve pounds or eighteen eighteen dollars or so. I can't can't remember. Raphael, did you see? Uh, yeah, I think I can't remember. It, it could be about twelve twelve pounds for for driving into the centre of London, and in, it's impossible to to drive inside the, the centre. It's very difficult. I've been trying, but it's more easy to take a bus because, or, or the underground or the tube, because it's easier and it's very, it's very nice and very quickly to take a bus and to transport yourself in a public, a public um, transportation is better than going by car. Yeah, so I'm trying to find out how much it is, uh, but it did, did help to reduce the congestion. Basically, if you want to drive in London, you have to pay a lot of money. Plus, to park in central London, it's probably the same in New York and other major cities. Um, it's really expensive. It's like I'll say in, in dollar terms, uh, because I guess you're all familiar more with dollars and pounds. Like 30, 30 cents a minute. 30, well, 20p a minute, so it's like 30 cents um, every minute you have to pay. Yeah. So if you're there for... Um, 
10 minutes is, is three dollars yeah so uh, that's the, the fee I saw recently yeah so it's, it's very very expensive and I'll, I'll find the congestion charge but basically this means lots of the normal workers don't want to drive they use the underground even though that's also quite expensive um, but yeah it did help a little bit but it's still very very crowded I would say in the center yeah did you see this levy yeah I did I'm I would not want to drive there I wouldn't yeah I wouldn't. Um, yeah, sorry? Oh, no. Um, I was done. <laughs> also, also, cycling is it's quite fun. Yeah, I've done this a couple of times on these Boris bikes, on these blue bikes that you can rent. Um, and it's quite cool going in between the taxis, but it's, if you, it's, it's like a, almost a death sentence. But, um, okay, so how is it in your cities? We'll compare. Um, who has the worst traffic problem out of all of us? Yeah, so who has a really, really notable whose country or whose city has a really, really major traffic problem? Yes, my city, I think it's famous for traffic problem, Istanbul. Istanbul, yeah. You've got loads of people, 20 million, I think, right? Yeah, maybe less than 20, like maybe more than 50 or less than 20 million. Something in with these two numbers. Is there a congestion charge or is there something that maybe the government are doing to try to reduce the amount of people um, driving in the center or would they just if there was a congestion charge would the people just pay it anyway and it wouldn't solve the problem what do you mean by a congestion ch charge okay before you go into the center of London you have to pay a fee to be allowed to drive in the center oh. so, uh, a daily fee you buy a ticket mm -hmm. and this permits you to drive in in the congestion zone which is the center of London and some, mm -hmm. some outside places. You have to pay to drive. Like no, hopefully our president is not watching because <laughs> if he watches, probably we will have this charge. I like this idea. Yeah, well, that's a good idea. We can get <laughs> okay, sorry, no. guys. If I'm just your, you know. We have some paid uh, highways or some roads are toll paid. Toll roads, yeah, toll roads. Yeah, toll roads. But normally in city, you can go anywhere and you can drive. In many European places like France, they've got a hell of a lot of toll roads. We have some in the UK, but mainly, I think Essex, there's a big one, uh, big one, but not so common because this comes out of a road tax. Yeah, Do you know what road tax is? Yes. So there's a tax you pay for having a car. Yeah, so this yes. comes up that, but we don't pay tolls. Uh, but in France, I've, heard, I've, I've seen it's, it's quite popular. Okay, any other parts before we go? I know we're getting off topic a little bit. Any parts of London that you'd like to see? Or that you know of, that, or something interesting about London that's maybe uh, that you'd like to share with us. Maybe as a last thing, you should show your favorite part. You yeah, Greenwich is What's my favorite, favorite part. Place? I this yesterday. My favorite part is is Greenwich. Levy, did you go to Greenwich? If Which I university did, were you at? I was at um, I was at an American university in Richmond. Cool, okay. So, um, did, did you hear about Greenwich? It's where the Kaji Sark is. I, I probably have been there. Yeah, I mean, but you wouldn't notice. I yeah? So yeah, I'm going to be honest. The whole time um, I was there, I was pretty much lost because I just relied on my friends to get me around. I never took the incentive to figure out how to nav navigate myself. So. Last year was the first time I could successfully navigate myself around London myself anyway, so I wouldn't worry. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> Yeah, my navigation is not, not so good. Okay, but uh, Greenwich is a part, I'll share my screen so you can see this. Greenwich is, I, I was saying about this yesterday, and it's basically, it feels like a town, but in, in London, it's towards the east, um, and it's, it's just a nice atmosphere. There's a nice park, it's very quiet, but also very convenient to get to the banks and things like this. Richmond um, is like that. Have you, have you been to Richmond? Uh, Richmond, yeah, I've been to Richmond. It's, it's fairly similar, yes? Yeah? So, uh, but I like like Greenwich, there's a good view of the city, like here, for example. This is from the park. This is uh, the Royal Observatory. It used to be the, pr uh, the the Royal Family's private gardens, but now they're open to the public, and you can sit up there, eat a picnic, and uh, watch watch the view of, of London, the skyline. I like that very much, and it's f completely free. Yeah, so all, all parks are free. So that's my my favourite part. I'll show you this this park thing. Uh, it's maybe a, a bit like Central Park, but no, no, this is not like Central Park because Central Park's in the middle. But um, I would say Hyde Park is more like Central Park. But let me show you. So this is um, it's, it used to be owned by the royal family. Um, wait. 
um, and this is up a hill, and you just see a big, big view. Yes, yeah, just makes. But, and the Olympics, I think I don't know the horse riding or something was there. I can't remember. Yeah, so it's just that's my favourite part, and it's very close to the, the city as well. It's not not too far, uh, but that's where I go. Okay, um, Levi, what was your favourite part that you remember? Don't you don't have to know the name, but something that you saw that you could maybe describe. Um, for my university, one of the first things that we did there uh, was take like um, we we. I guess we rented um, a big boat and um, went down the Thames, like all down the Thames, and um, saw like all of London from from the boat and just had a big party on the boat. That was probably my most memorable experience. And the Thames. Did you go around to the the bridge? Yeah, so the Tower Bridge. Yeah, under Tower <laughs> Bridge. Was it, was it a big boat? Did it open for you? Yeah, as it didn't the... open. Um, it was. Mm, it was about a two large. Although it would, there was an upstairs to it, but it wasn't big enough where the bridge had to open. Yeah, I don't think my, most boats are, are, are under that limit, yeah, but it's, it's quite cool to see that. And we have also Salvatore has just joined us. Hi. How are you, Salvatore? I'm fine, thank you. Cool, nice to speak with you. And where are you from? Uh, I'm from Italy, Milan. Milan, okay. So this is also a very, very popular city. We were talking about London today. Have you ever visited London? Yes, I have visited London uh, uh, three years ago. And what were your impressions, the best things about London, the worst things about London for you? The best place in London. Yeah. What did you like about London and what were the really, really negative things, the things you didn't like? Um, I, I, I like... Uh, I like much. I like very much uh, uh, pub of London. You like London? Uh, yes, I like pub of London, and uh, 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 I like uh, uh, the shop. Uh, the shop in London. Shops and pubs. Yeah. Shop, so that, yes. I would say the pubs are quite good. Although uh, I, I mentioned this a bit yesterday, I've gone off London pubs. I had a really bad experience the other the other week. Um, so I've gone off London pubs, and I need to get this this story off my chest one day. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. But anyway, Salvatore. So welcome. We're talking about London. So you mentioned the pubs. Um, does everyone know about the pubs? In fact, the pubs are closing down now. Uh, there are less and less every year. There are less and less pubs, um, and sometimes it can be difficult to to find one. Yeah. So, um, Raphael, you've been. You said you've been to London five times. Yeah. I, I guess at different stages. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Stay Have you here. noticed the difference? Yeah, from when you first came to London to when you, you last came. When I was there for my first time, I was 18 years old. I I went there, um, and now I am more than 50. And uh, I've been I've seen a lot of changes. Uh, when I was the first time, it was a um, uh, it was um, a Worst place. The buildings was looks older, and the people. It was more more difficult to engage with them and to talk with them. It was very funny place, but no, you can't talk with someone. Uh, so everything was different, yeah. So, yeah. so the society was a bit different. But this is one thing I'm really curious about, yeah, because. For me, I just know London uh, from what it is now, and I wouldn't have known what it was like um, in the past. So I can't imagine, yeah? So you, it just looked a bit older, it, maybe not so developed, maybe not so many, mm. well, no, probably no skyscrapers at, at that point, yeah? Mm. Well, I can't imagine London without the, the building stuff. Okay, that's cool. Um, okay, we've run out of time, guys. We're going to have another session on London afterwards, but we're going to really focus on the article I attached. Uh, because uh, maybe we didn't look at this so much, but we're just discussing. So next, next class, we're going to follow these interesting facts, and we're going to continue to talk and things like that. Okay, so it's be quite relaxed, quite chilled, um, good for you to practice. But take care. Good to see you, Levi, and all the other guys that are new, Salvatore, etc. And hopefully, speak to you in a future session or something. Good take to care. meet you. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.